Here I am in the new Outlook and specifically the new Outlook calendar. Now I'm sure you'll think, okay, it looks fairly the same as the calendar before, but it does have a few differences. The, the ribbon at the top is a little bit more webby and you would be correct in thinking that because it is a whole lot more webby overall. But this is a short video just about something that I think is immensely useful, especially if you work across time zones. Now, as you know, I live in Israel. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know this. And I have kids in Florida and I have clients in London and the US. So it's useful for me to have three time zones on my calendar. Now these three time zones will only show up in certain places. They'll show up in the one day, in the work week and the week. They won't show up in the month because obviously there isn't enough space for that. So if we go back to the week view, which is my preferred view. Now I've got my three time zones and up to not that long ago, you could only have two and then they added a third one. Well now, with the new Outlook, you can have more. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up. So I'm gonna come up to the settings top right. Now you get to start off with, you have the, the short quick settings, but we're gonna to go to view all Outlook settings. And once we're there, we're gonna to go to calendar. And once we're in the calendar, we are going to go to, we're going to scroll down under view to time zones. And I've got, when I travel, ask me if I want to update my time zone so that it will update to the time zone where I'm at. And you can see there is my home time zone. That's the first one. Then there's my work time zone and then there's my kids one. And I can add another time zone. So I'm just about to start working with a client in Singapore. So it would be really um, useful to me to be able to spell Singapore. I can look for Singapore and let's say I'm going to choose that one. There's an eight hour delay. Now I can add it a label, just put Sing and save that. And then when I come back, I now have Singapore, Florida, London and Israel. So I've got all of my time zones um, and we can see that Singapore and Florida are more or less the same. So we're doing okay there. If I want to remove it, I simply come back to all Outlook settings, view in the calendar, whoops, it had remembered where I was and I can remove the Singapore one. And when I save, it will have gone. So I hope that short, sharp tip is useful to you and the new Outlook is coming. So if you haven't embraced it already and you click the try new Outlook toggle, this is what it's, your calendar is going to look like. And happy time zone working. And I'm Shelley Fischel, the MS Office Maestro, and you can get all of my courses at www.msofficemaestro.com. And please remember to subscribe to the channel so that you get all the videos as I post them.